Okay, now I should be live. Let me make sure that is actually the case. Let's go ahead and hop into Thanks. this live stream. Okay, audio sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and hop in here. So we've got chat here on the right and Star Citizen open right here. We will see how this goes. Um, oh, actually, let me go ahead and let's alt tab. Uh, yeah. Um, control shift A. All right, so we're in here. I'm just going to post the link in Discord. Or rather than post the link, I'll just do an announcement of sorts. Do, do, do. Where is it? You know what? I need to actually make this slightly smaller. Let's go ahead and size. Let's decrease the size ever so slightly, like so. Okay. Yeah, VR Motion Simulator. Let's make sure. Playing a game, access overlay. I should, let's see, no, I'm supposed to have my YouTube stream linked to Discord. Why is it showing access overlay instead of, let's see, let's go to streaming, streamer mode. Enable streamer mode, automatically enable slash disable. Okay, registered games. I'm going to look for excess overlay. Wow, well, okay. Oh my gosh, riveting content. It's like, oh yeah, I'm ready to go. And then this happens. All right, well, let's go ahead and just copy the link to the stream. into the Discord. I'm sure OBS is running. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and hop into the PU. Stanton system. Select location. Uh, we'll do Lorville, because Lorville is usually the least broken. Uh, besides Orison. Do I want to do Orison? Now we'll do Lorville. Lorville's kind of central, anyways. The question is, is all the audio coming through? Hopefully. If it's not, someone in the chat, please go ahead and just let me know. And we are loading. Okay, let's go ahead and exit bed. Hey, I was actually able to get into the game this time. Whoa, the frame rate. Ooh, this performance is uh not super hot right now. Let's go into graphics and see. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the settings down to medium. Um, turn VSync off. Uh, alright. It could also be that it's been a long time since I've played, so shaders could be caching. That could explain a fair amount. Can... I wonder if track IR works when you're just walking around. Uh, let's go to head tracking. Make sure that's turned on. Head tracking. This is all Toby. I don't 
have tracking, so... Alright, track IR, head tracking general, auto recalibrate, disable during FPS. No! Disable during ADS. Yes, disable during movie glass. That will keep it on. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is going to make me dizzy. Does that- Oh! <gasps> Whoa! That is jumping all over the place, though. It's a little sketch to, uh... Oh, okay. Whoa, goodness. All right. Uh, this is going to give me a headache. Um, there is a reason why, I guess, they disable head tracking when you're in FPS mode, because moving the mouse <laughs> while also moving your head? Woo! That will uh, make me dizzy. So let's come in here and disable during FPS. Yes. All right, less headache inducing. Shaders cash, do your job. Um. You know what? I think I just realized I might actually be overclocking right now. Um, let's go ahead and launch MSI Afterburner. And see... Nope! We are not overclocking right now. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Spaceport line. Mariah, pure of heart. Tisa, spaceport. Oh, okay. Oh, I love it when this happens. This game was made just for me tonight. Let's go sit down. Hmm. It would be nice if it could be enabled when I'm sitting, but this is fine. This is fine. Just want to get to my ship, man. Star Citizen really needs, uh, I know this is kind of random, but it really needs a good, like, night vision mode. Because, like, every single time I've gone to do racing, it's been, like, the middle of the night. And that drives me nuts, because it's really hard to race in those canyons now when it's arriving. pitch black outside. Jesus baseboard. Please watch your step when the train. Oh, I forgot to put on my harness. All right, let's go ahead and get off. I'll put my harness on as I'm walking into a ship. Yeah, the performance um, looks like it's getting better already. That's the commerce line. So I'm thinking I want to just run a couple of combat missions. Um, I need to remind remember what my what my key bindings are. So we'll probably get into space, do some flight tests, and test with weaponry what actually is i have that's how many zeros is that one two three four five so that's two hundred thousand all right that's not awful welcome to the asop vehicle retrieval system one of my ships i got an arrow the super hornet and the scorpius we'll take out the scorpius because the scorpius selected. is fun stand by your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my vehicle is being delivered to the following location, isn't it?
Hangar 9. Okay. Just have to be patient. Let's go, Hangar 9. Persistent Entity Streaming. Come on. You never know when the uh, doors just don't open. Oh, there we go. Hangar 9. Got this here. Door's not opening. So it looks like you have to press the uh, open doors button a second time. Alright, let's go ahead and enter the pilot seat. While our person in game does this, strap myself in IRL. Put my mouse there. We have tracking. So sick. Oh, I love this. I can recenter like that, and I can turn it off whenever I want to as well. So we're this here. Um, now I need to Alt Tab and come into here and open. Buzz killer bindings. Okay, so got this. So if I alt tab between these two, so power controls all on is up on this. Welcome to Public Space Industries. Okay, I believe this is to request to leave, but it's probably not going to do anything because. I need to bind that. So, uh, is it vehicles? Look behind. Cockpit. View. Movement. It's the uh the request docking and stuff is what I'm looking for. Request landing. Okay. You are clear to launch. So nice, actually, to be able to do that. Like, holy cow, being able to just look up and see that that's actually opening. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, yeah, my chair is on. Leaving safe zone. Leaving safe zone. That's fine. Okay, let's see. I need to find out. Let's alt tab. Alt tab. Um, what do I have to? All right. So this is mod two, and then. Decoupled toggle is pressing both modifiers, so mod 2, then mod 1, K. Okay. And then I'm looking for SCM limit toggle is... No, pushing forward deploys decoy, pulling back deploys noise. SCM toggle is number 2? What? Alright, I'm looking for... Free look, all power on, space break, lock doors. Where is? Mm. Oh, got it. 
What's this here? Increase or decrease SCM. Okay, that does nothing. I think I need to bind it. Uh, so, key bindings. Advanced controls. Joystick slash HOTAS. Uh, is it flight power? No. Flight. Movement. SCM. Speed limiter increase is that. Speed limiter decrease is that. Speed limiter toggle. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the toggle. Um, okay. Why is that not working? All right, let's go options, key bindings. Light movement. Strafe left, right, throttle forward and back, invert, throttle back. Okay. Why then? Why can't I fly? My speed limit. What's going on? What did I press? So, afterburner is pulling one. SCM toggle is both. We're increasing. Um, G safe ESP. So ESP, G safe. Hold on. Oh, I love it. Riveting content and gameplay. Absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. All of it. Um, okay, so we're looking at right now this button. So this is bound to nothing, as is that, which is fine. But if we go into modifier one and go to this, nothing. Do I not have the right file load profile? Should be buzzkiller. XML. Wait, that's right. I'm looking to use this one. So these two don't do anything. That's left alt L. Mod one. Left alt left shift G. Let's go ahead and oops. Come into here. So Left alt, left G. Key bindings. Uh, so G. Max missiles, max missiles. Reset. Modifier 1, max missiles. In gimbal mode. What the heck? Left alt, left shift, G. That's supposed to be recenter head tracking. All right, let's see what recenter head tracking is currently. Why? Why am I trying to figure out head tracking? I don't care about that. Um, we're looking for 
So SCM limit toggle is supposed to be number two. All right, so if we go to default, then I were to press both of these. Button two, left shift, left alt, Z. Um, left shift, left alt, Z. Toggle SCM. Now that's free look. Okay. Um, all right, let's go flight movement. Speed limiter. Toggle. Oh, wait, that's turned off. Duh. So it's left shift, left alt Z, right? Left shift, left alt Z. So left shift, left alt. No. Speed limiter toggle. Left shift, left alt Z. Yes. Okay. Then acceleration limiter. Right alt and mouse wheel down. Alt tab. And see. This we have cruise control, reset limiter to SCM. Those are all turret mode. So check on the right stick. What do I have these hats bound to? Nothing important. Okay. Um well, if that's the case, then Right alt plus mouse wheel. When do I ever use the acceleration limiter? No, oh, duh. I have to re enable the profile. Mm -mm. Shoot, what was it to do the limiter or whatever? Um, reset limiter to SCM, and then reset limiter. Why can't I? Oh. None of it's working. I can't control my ship at all. Oh my gosh. So guess what was happening there? I was a dum-dum and had chat open. Or messaging, which is why nothing worked. So that toggles the limiter. All right, then. Um, okay, we've got head tracking. Wait, motion compensation isn't working now. It was working before. What? We set the center. Okay. Once again. Oh, wait, let me. Alt tab. Find out what's going on here. I had motion compensation working. What? Let's go ahead and reset. And see, SteamVR is still running. Okay. Let's go ahead and run. Show desktop apps. Start desktop mode. Yeah, motion compensation turned off somehow. Motion should be compensated now. OK. 
Okay. What the heck? But I had everything working! Come on. It was literally all working. And then this happened. Alright, let's stop. And... Ah, uh, we'll go into motion compensation. Let's go ahead and unapply. We'll go into Steam VR. Switch to VR. And let's recenter. Three, two, one. Boom. Okay. Come out. Let's recenter in Oculus or Meta. Okay. And enable motion comp. Apply. Check track IR. Oh, I need to start it. Start. Center. What? I had this working perfectly earlier and then earlier today. <sighs> what the heck? All right, well, this is a troubleshooting live stream now. So, huzzah. I actually want to decrease the pitch values I have here for real quick. Two pitch. Let's go ahead and switch this to 15. Switch this to 30. Save. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Troubleshooting stream. Let's go into motion compensation and let's calibrate. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay. And now let's go back to device parameters. Start device. And So it's rotating me around still. <sighs> Why though? It's working perfectly. Switch to VR. Recenter. That's wonky. Super wonky. Turned all the way around. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Recenter. Okay, stop. Rotation center, recenter to take effect.
Let's try and do it in 3 Dolph mode. All right. And I'm just going to stick this back here. I'm just going to sit with my head locked against the back of the chair. Jeez, is it really almost 8 o'clock? Back. Okay. Device parameters. Start device. And we start this. Yeah, see, we still have that same issue. I don't understand why it's doing that. Recenter, three, two, one, boom. Okay. Now we're doing read off mode. Okay. We spun all the way around. There's motion compensation. All right. Let's actually disable motion comp. Apply. Center and enable motion compensation. And let's see how we're doing. <laughs> so what happened to those values? What just happened there? What? What? Recenter. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Let's turn motion comp off. Apply. Now let's recenter. Three, two, one. Boom. Recentered. So I don't think we actually are. Recenter. Recenter. Okay. Now, let's enable motion compensation. And reset. Yep, same thing happened again. I don't know why. It's annoying because it was working earlier. I literally have the last video on my channel that I created showing that it was working really, really well. Maybe if we do it on just the yaw axes. Let's try and recalibrate. Okay. Start device. Let's try enabling motion compensation. And let's see what's going on with open track. Center. Okay. Well, 
that's better. That is manageable. So what did I do differently? I went in. Mode is still sixed off, but I just changed the axes to yaw. So that it's just... Oh, wait, but then it's only canceling yaw, huh? So I bet if I... Yep. Mm hmm. No, we want to do all axes. So let's select all axes. And does that automatically apply? No, I don't think it does. Nope. So let's go ahead and stop compensation, start compensation. Gosh, did it again. Okay. All right, I'm going to need to ask Daniel for some assistance on this. Daniel is um one of the developers in the Discord. Um I don't understand why this is happening. Ah. Uh, let's go back into Steam VR. Recenter three, two, one, boom. Okay. You know what? We're going to kill Steam VR and try this again. Exit Steam VR. It also means we're going to have to restart open track. Ah. Oh. My neck is getting tired. Okay. And then we grab start desktop mode like so. Just keep chat up. Then we'll go into game engine, calibrate, Okay, let me actually go, let's go and dashboard, start device, and now let's apply motion compensation, and open track, start. Yeah, something's not, because even within, I mean, this is, maybe there's a setting inside of virtual desktop I need to do. Um, streaming. What's interesting is that when I spin in the chair, it's making the screen go smaller. Let me go all the way back here and then 
okay, yeah, that's, I guess, expected behavior in virtual desktop. Um, so, but motion compensation should be applying for Steam VR. What the heck? Steam VR is jacked up right now. Exit Steam VR. Okay. Just launch Steam VR. Reset three, two, one. Okay. Where's the yaw tracker, though? Going to quit this. Close the program. Okay. And right at distance. Oh, ho, ho. Working on this stuff makes my head hurt. Actually, makes my neck hurt right here. Might be the weight from the headset. I think it's the way that I sit in the chair. What did I need to do here? Um, all right, come to here and open with the dot bat file. All right, make sure chat is up. Apply motion compensation, motion compensated, start, stop, start, stop. Let's reopen open track. Start, okay. And it's causing Steam VR to just die. Apparently, that or it's the motion compensation. So, I am going to just get up to a spaceport. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get out of this planet's gravity well. Someone blows me up while I try and do this. It'll be very annoying. Uh, shoot, why am I blind? I just want to get to a spaceport. There it is. Everest Harbor, that's what it's called.
proceed to assign landing bay. I don't know what the landing gear is. Alt tab, uh, no. Alt tab. What is landing gear? Uh, turret, lead lag. Target under reticle, look behind thrust. Thrust, landing gear, okay. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Landing gear deployed. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Where? Where is the assigned landing bay? Am I blind? There it is. Took damage. All right. Well, complete. Have a pleasant stay. Okay, I'm in mode. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna quit like this. Um, I should still start back on the space station, right? Okay, well, that was fun, of course. Nothing was working. Because why wouldn't it? Um, Control Shift Z. Nope, did not mean to do that. Well, anyways. Fantastic stream. Um, sometime I'll get a stream where I'm actually just playing the game instead of troubleshooting. But uh, for anyone that watches this, hope you had a good time. I sure did myself. Bye now.